What's up, YouTube, man? Ooh, my tasks look good. I need some more, though. But anyways, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Hop. And welcome to my channel, Creatively Misunderstood. So, this video is going to be a part two of a video I just uploaded. Part one, I did a digital vision board for 2021, and I pretty much shared it with you guys. So, part two, I don't know. I thought somebody might be interested on how I created it. So, I just did this video to help you guys out and show you how you can create your own digital vision board using Keynote. With that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so first, before I get into showing you guys how to do it, let's talk about the pros of a digital vision board. So if you don't know what a digital vision board, this is what it is right here. I'm not going to walk you through all of them just because I already did a video on it where I actually went through and talked about all of it. So this is a digital vision board. It's on the device, right? And then we have the traditional vision board that we all know. This is a traditional vision board. This is actually my vision board from 2019. This is the only vision board. I've been doing this since I was 19 years old. This is the only vision board that I kept. So let's talk about um, the pros of it. So one pro of a digital vision board versus a physical vision board is the cost. A digital vision board is cheaper. And unlike this, so the poster board, you pay about 98 cents for. Not a lot of money, right? But there's two options to do it like this. One, a lot of people use magazines. Guess what? Magazines cost. You got to, not only that, but not all magazines are the same. Some magazines, if you got like goals that's catered to like homeowning, you got to get a homeowner magazine. And then let's say you got something that has nothing to do with homeowning. Like it's probably has like, you got like a sports goal or something. Now you got to go and get a sports magazine. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So that cost. And then for me, I never did the magazines. I always did printing it out. So I would like, Put the picture pictures on keynote and then i will actually um cut them out and then paste them on the vision board but guess what ink cost you gotta pay for color ink and you gotta pay for black ink so one pro that a digital vision board has is it's the cheapest option because it's honestly free everything pictures free keynote free free everything all right so the next one is the, there's unlimited amount of changes you can make this is what i mean by that so i started off 2021 like this right but let's say um one thing that change is I no longer want to do my third goal. So let's say home owner. I no longer want to buy a house. I ain't, you know, I ain't really feeling that. I think I'm going to go another route. Well, guess what? This shit is already pasted on here. Like it's, it's glued on here. So if I want to change that goal out and replace with another goal, I have to go and do an entire new vision board. Or I can like post pictures over this one, but it's going to look trash. Oh, ah, the ghetto. The ghetto. The ghetto. So... The changes aren't as easy to make on a physical vision board versus a digital. Cause look, let me tell you something. I'm gonna make a change on here. All I gotta do is press this and press delete and it's gone and I can replace it with something else. Next is portable. So this, this thing right here, you don't like, let's say you go somewhere and you travel for the weekend or something. The last thing I wanna do is carry this big poster around with me, right? But with a digital vision board, like I said, whatever I do on my iPad is on my phone. I always have it with me so it's convenient uh, another thing is privacy with this especially if you live with people you don't want your business out like unless they like get your phone go to keynote or you share with them like i share mine with you guys they're not gonna know anything you have planned so that's another thing is you get the privacy um with this anybody can look at it especially if you got it up in your room or something like that is there's no privacy with it and last but not least is that is a lot more customizable than this and the reason why that's more customizable is this stays the way it is with the digital vision board you can actually make changes as you go you can make one picture that was small at the beginning you can make that like larger now you feel me y'all understand what i'm saying y'all picking up are you picking up what i'm putting down but anyways that's pretty much it when it comes to the pros and cons of digital vision boards I've been doing digital vision digital vision boards for like the past year. This was the last physical vision board that I did. So I'm all for it. And I tell anybody who's willing to listen to do one. With that being said, let's get into the rest of the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So step number one, you need to go and download Keynote from the App Store. After you do that, come back to the video. Step two, you need to decide on what type of vision board you actually want to do. Down in the description, you're going to see a link to a website that has different vision boards and it gives you different um, summary and descriptions of what each vision board is used for. So go check that link out and decide on what type of vision board you want to do. Step three, now it's the fun part. Now you get to come up with your goals for 2021. So go ahead, come up with your goals for 2021 and then come back to the video. Step four, I'm about to send you back to step three because nine times out of 10, you didn't use smart goals. Fuck you know this. How? Hold on, bro. Talk to me, bro. You the police? Is you the LBI? 
CIA, what's your deal? So, what SMART goals is, it's an acronym. The S stands for specific. You gotta be very specific with what you want to achieve with your goal. M stands for measurable. How can you measure this goal? The A stands for attainable. How attainable is it? Now, I know we have grand intentions for ourselves and we got this big vision of who we are. Like, we, we really are that person, but we gotta take baby steps. How relevant is this goal? So, make sure your goal is relevant, right? And then T stands for time. Time. Put a deadline on it. Go back to the drawing board and redo your goals and make them smart goals because we winning all 2021. And then come back to this video. All right, so step number five. So step number five, what I want you to do, first, I want you to go to Keynote and I want you to choose your presentation type. What type of presentation are you going for? Are you going for like the minimalist style or you want to do like the white background and black words, very minimalistic? Or do you want color? My vision board is like colorful because I'm gay and I like color, right, right? Or you want to do like, I don't know if you're a man and you want to use like the, you know, the dark gray you know, because you're manly or whatever. You can use that too. But I need for y'all to go and figure out your presentation type so you know what to do when I tell you what to do for step five, if that makes sense. All right, so boom, you got your presentation type? Too easy. Now what I want you to do is I want you to mind map. I want you to take your goal. I want you to decide on what pictures fits with that goal. I'm telling you why you want to do this. You want to do this because you can spend hours and hours and days and weeks trying to find the right picture because... It's, it's just so much, it's so many pictures out there. Use the mind map and you already got your presentation type. So you can use like how your background in your presentation and like the type of pictures you want and put them together and go ahead and do that. All right, so step number six, I'm gonna tell you where to find pictures at. We're gonna use Google, we're gonna use Pinterest, we're gonna use our phone. Google is the best, it's the easiest, it's the simplest. You just go on Google, you type in whatever you're looking for, right click, copy, paste it on Keynote. With Pinterest, it's a lot more complicated. Um, you can go online. I haven't used it online. I actually have an app. I know with the app, you have to save it to your phone and then upload it from your phone into Keynote. That's a little more difficult. But if you go online, you may be able to do the same thing with the copy and paste and paste it on Keynote. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you got to like save it and then uh, add it to Keynote. But that's going to be your second option. The thing with Pinterest and Google is Pinterest has better images than Google, but Google is simpler to use. And then the third one, I already mentioned it. You can use pictures from your phone. So... If you got something like on IG that hasn't made its way to Google, like if you're inspired by somebody on IG and they haven't made their way to Google or Pinterest, you can always screenshot a picture of them, crop it, and then post it on your vision board. Not that that's weird or anything. Go ahead and find your pictures, but do not put them on your vision board. Put them around the perimeter of your vision because it can get complicated and crowded fast. So go ahead and do that. All right, so step number seven is you're gonna go ahead and put your vision board together. So my recommendation is start from a corner and work your way over. So if you start from the bottom, build up to the top and then work your way over. It's easier that way, trust me, because once you get all these pictures in here, it, it can, they're different sizes. Some of them are long, some of them are square, some rectangle, like it can be if you're trying to get all these pictures on here. And don't, my, don't like overlap. That shit, sometimes it looks really, really nice. I have some of my vision board where the pictures are overlapping or sitting like on top of each other. It actually looks pretty cool. But yeah, go ahead and put all your pictures on your vision board and then I get into the next step. All right, so step number eight is adding words and emojis to your vision board. Words are powerful. Words are very powerful. You definitely want to add words to your vision board. And I'm pretty sure I insert a clip of me like adding words, but you want to make sure the words that you add actually goes along with your goal. All right, step number nine. This step is optional, but what you can do is you can add a timer to your slide. So um, if you're like me, you're going to like put this thing in like play mode and you're going to like let it play through. I find that it's, a timer is better and I do 20 seconds per slide. But if you want to take longer, like maybe you have less slides, you may want to do like 30 or 40 seconds. Or if you have a lot of slides, you may want to cut the time down to like 10 seconds. But again, this stuff is optional. You don't got to do it if you don't want to. All right, y'all. So that pretty much going to wrap up the video. That's how you create a digital vision board. Congrats to you if you actually created one. Don't forget to check out part one if you want to see what my 2021 vision board look like. Um, also, um, I was supposed to like insert like a quote that deals with vision. So here it is. Matter of fact, I got one on top of my head. Don't you, don't live the same life year after year. Don't live the same year. They don't live the same. I don't give a fuck. I don't know shit. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Moving on. Um, so if this video helped you guys out in any way, like the video. A like, it don't cost you nothing. Just like the video. Just go out there, clink, like the video, right?
comment on the video comment like some of your 2021 goals or maybe if you having problems with keynote or like something like that and you got questions for me i can help you out so just drop it down now and then subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this because this is kind of where my channel is heading with like videos and shit like this and don't forget to share the video because you might help somebody else out there somebody else may not know that digital vision boards exist and that's pretty much it subscribe to my channel i'm out